In October of 2005, my vehicle was struck by an improvised explosive device. Uh, still on a fire, I managed to get out of the vehicle. In the next 52 minutes during the evacuation process, there's a firefight. In the firefight, I was shot three times. Spent the next 22 months in the hospital, Brook County Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. And to date, I've undergone 62 surgeries. You can guarantee that there's gonna come a point in time in your career where somebody hands you something that you never saw before and says, make it work. And you find more often than not that military members not only make it work, they make it work better. They make it do something that it never did before. And then it becomes the standard. That was Jerry, you know, Jerry Magic who, who spoke uh, first. <clears throat> he literally woke up, uh, if I, I may have my facts totally correct, but in a burn unit in San Antonio, third degree burns all over his, all over his body. You know, there's a man who, who, if I think I have a bad day, you think you, think you have a bad boss and a bad day. I've got a good that's boss. A, that's a bad day. He has three children, and he got up and said, you know, I'm not, it's not about you know, collecting a check from the government. I want to go and show my children and be an example and go make a living on, on the street. We've got to do everything we can uh, to provide the opportunities to service disabled vets, not to give them a special advantage, but to treat them the way they need to be treated. And at the end of the day, they have the skill sets that are going to bring businesses to the next level. We've got to get that bill passed. Thank you for your commitment, Senator Ball. Wish we had more time. We'll wrap this up today and we'll get to it again at another show. God bless. Thanks a lot. Nice time.